that's web scrapping. Oh, so first of all, we were going to need uh, two basic tools. The first is the URL lib2 uh, library, and the second thing is beautiful soap. Beautiful soap in Python. We need to uh, read about the description in here. What is beautiful soap and what is URL lib? As I will be explaining you both, so you don't you can read that if you want to learn more. Anyways, uh, we need we are going to do the chapter one, chapter two of the beautiful soap book. Uh, so it's our introduction in the py Python. So let's sit. Anyways, so uh, we want uh, the beautiful soap package and the URL library package to be implemented. So for that, uh, we are going to use the command prompt to install the beautiful soap package. How will we install that? We will access the command prompt and then we will going to give the command the pip and the install statement and to install the beautiful soap. So, so it will definitely install the beautiful soap as I have already installed. So it is showing that its requirement is already satisfied and stuff. So now let's start the program basics. Okay. So if you want to uh, start the basic program. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to say what is a beautiful soap? Well, a beautiful soap is a library Library Which will allow uh, You to understand the websites different website Like uh, if you get the website it will give you all the source code I will let me see suppose this is your website and if we inspect that element, this is your complete source code Okay to access this website complete source code, we use the URL lib2 function and to arrange that or sort that or beautify that, we use a beautiful soap function. So first, how would we use that? First of all, we will need to import the both packages, uh, beautiful soap and uh, we um, maybe we can use the BS4 folder from the BS4. BS4 import, import a beautiful soap. And uh, from the URL library function, we can usually import uh, the basics, uh, maybe kind of like uh, URL lib2. Make sure that you have installed both packages. Okay, so now let's start running the programs. So the first thing we want is uh, we want a specific link, the HTML page or the link which we will need to access. So for that, uh, we can have HTML underscore link is equal to blah, blah, blah. So for accessing that, uh, we will definitely need the website. So we are accessing this website. Copy this uh, address and then paste it in the HTML link page. As we got the HTML link page, now what we want to do, we want to get the response of that specific website. We want to get that website complete this as a response. Uh, so um, I wanted to ask you one thing more, why it is considered illegal to do scrapping. It's because when you ask the response configuration, it copies all the code, all this source code of a website and then store it in a temporary variable or temporary file. So let's check it out again. Uh, if you want to inst uh, store the website, so for that, uh, we will definitely do the beautiful soap to the job. First of all, we will need the complete HTML page. HTML page will be definitely in the form of uh, URL lib2. Dot, uh, open URL. We need to open the URL. Uh, URL open, maybe. Yeah. URL open, and then you need to pass the link, the specific link, the URL. Okay. As you can see, there are uh, different attrib attributes or different type of parameters list. I will tell you later about this. First of all, you need to learn how what is the simple HTML page parsing. So you will regard the HTML page right in this request. So what now we want to do? We can even check it out by printing the statement or uh, HTML page. HTML page. Let's run this program. It will give you a reference to a certain object. Uh, it's running. Yeah, this is the reference to a certain object. Uh, why we use the socket as I have said that it copies the source code and requests that source code and gets that source code back So it definitely got the source code back now. What do we want to do? We want to parse this HTML and beautify it like we can't see even anything from it So from doing that we need a soap variable which will beautify uh, beautify the HTML page so when we do that and run it uh, we will definitely get no error. Yeah, it's a warning. Oh, yeah, I will tell you about later about this warning. So first, print soap. Now definitely you will learn uh, what is going on when you run that. Uh, surely you will get the complete source code of the page. Yeah, here you got. You got the complete source code of the page. 
as it can be seen all the program here like the website starts with HTML XML and stuff and you can see the same thing right here so now let's come to the point uh, as you can see uh, that there are different uh, variable data types like it my warning is showing up that we need to use the LXML okay there are uh, three types of data parsing in the beautiful source three types one is for the LXML the LXML is basically if I type right here the LXML this will identify that the website is in the form of an LXML LXML means the HTML page and the XML format and the second attribute we can also take in here in the place of this LXML is the HTML parser which will only parse the HTML pages and the third attribute we can take is only the XML which will only be possible for the XML parsing so you can replace this string by LXML or HTML or stuff so if we try to run this again we will definitely have no error mm, yeah we got no error or no warning because the language is parsed in its original format like specified hence uh, the beautiful soap is now have all the source code we want to need so now what we want to do is uh, we want to access the beautiful soap elements so now let's create a new program file it will be intro to dot py and do the same thing again import the libraries uh, I will use a default source code default HTML page which I have already uh, written in a source code stuff so I have written the variable right in here mm. this is the simplest HTML page it has an HTML tag the body tag and the paragraph tag showing the test in the HTML page and the two references link in it it's just a variable if I print out this HTML page it will definitely print the value of a string right yeah same so now what, what what we need to do uh we need to we want to beautify this html page so what we will do we will do the soap is equal to beautiful soap and then soapify this html page okay then print the soap mm, there might be a certain little difference in both of the packages that it will beautifies uh it already written beautifies okay we forgot the warning you remember that this warning comes because we need both of the parts in the xml and the p HTML parsing. If you run it, uh, you will definitely get this. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet. So now, what we want to do? Uh, we want to access this first link. So for accessing any element, we use tags, different tags. So to access any element, oh, we use different tags. Okay. Let's suppose I want to access the A element. So for the A tag. Suppose any variable is a tag, and I want to access the a variable in here. It's kind of a reference variable, so a tag. So dot a. Okay. If I print this a tag, you will definitely get a tag value. Yeah, the first home page tag. This. These are called tags. These are are called of the tags we access the tag in it if I had a paragraph out here I could have definitely done a p tag is equal to so dot p and if I print the p tag it will definitely print the tag yeah paragraph tag as you got that so this is called accessing with the string the tags now the next step uh, we come out to know is uh, about uh, accessing the attributes the attributes so how would you access the attributes basically when you consider a website um, let me see these are called certain attributes this is a tag this is also a tag and this is also a tag while this is an attribute and this is a string value so if you want to get the attributes you will definitely just change a little bit of code like uh, you will do print a tag the a tag variable was storing the a eight value and we want the h reference so we we will specify the h reference in it and then we run that 
it will definitely print only the ring that we have access that specific link of the tag this uh, accesses 